court orders MLA of Cycle Assembly constituency Yang Tong Hao Kip in judicial custody for 15 days in connection with possession of stolen arm from arms court of second Manipur Rifles. And I recovers nine lost nine MM pistols of DG Pool Armory from the residents of United Cookie Liberation France, Chief Sasson Haukip. North East India Development Party, NEIDP, exceeds core committee of 11 political parties formed to tackle four different issues of the state. And one day national workshop on road safety calls for joint efforts by Transport Education, PWD and Police Departments in curbing road accidents. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the top stories. Congress MLA of Cycle Assembly constituency Yam Thong Haukib has been remanded for 15 days in judicial custody today. It may be recalled that NIA recovered one of the 56 rifles which went missing from the arms court of 2nd Manipur Rifles from its residence in Mantri Pukri on July 13th. The MLA was produced before the special court of the NIA at Rap Court this morning. During the trial, the defense counsel pleaded the judge to grant bail for the defendant considering that the defendant has a history of heart disease. While the NIA special public prosecutor prayed for police custody to facilitate police interrogation. After hearing both the sides, the judge remanded the defendant for 15 days in judicial custody and to transfer him at Janim Security Ward following necessary procedures by the jail authority. A team of National Investigation Agency has recovered nine lost 9mm pistols belonging to DG Pool Armory, 2nd MR Battalion, which was reportedly stolen in 2016-17. The arms were recovered from the residence of Chief of Prescribed Group United Cookie Liberation Front, UKLF, Sosin Haukip and Monte Prokhi during a search operation yesterday. As per the release from NIA headquarters, it came to light that some pistols were handed over to the chief for underground activities during investigations following recovery of pistol number 1850675 from the residence of MLF Saikul Yamthong Haukip on July 13th. NIA team has recovered 14 pistols out of the 56 stolen pistols so far. Further investigations are underway to recover the rest. As part of the ongoing drive to check influx of illegal immigrants in the state, a team of district police, Jiribam, led by Sub-Inspector Rameshwar, conducted verification drive of passengers boarded on Friday train at Jiribam railway station. A total of 30 passengers, including three girls, were found boarded without any train tickets or any other identification documents. The police team sent them back on the same train. Jairab Court had extended the final argument hearing of Kulim Jitain, 41 years of Naram Thong Kulim Lekai, son of late Kendrajit, accused of killing his uncle on June 30, 2015. The final argument hearing was scheduled today, but as the matter couldn't be resolved, the hearing will be on August 31st. Irate people belted stones and shoes towards the accused as he exited the courtroom. The police personnel on duty contained the situation.
Northeast India Development Party NEIDP has made an exit from the core committee of 11 political parties formed on August 16 to tackle jointly various issues concerning the state. Speaking to media persons today at the office of NEIDP, former co-convener of the core committee and vice president of NEIDP Manipur State Unit, O Malay stated that the decision was taken considering public interest and futile purpose of initiating the core committee. He assured NEIDP will continue to work for the welfare of the people. Akwena, we don't know Bogi, Madam D. Akwena, party this Hemzeluraga, party Maranai Maranai, Magi Magi, individual in a certain rapa, other party see, see me work committee, Hogi, Sigi, Cork, Hogi committee, see, Sigi, Belu Matalera, other Levang Miana, Sulan, Urakato, Uzera Podegi, other Giamu, Akwena Saluragasu, young freely, moment of Bunga Motava Quisi, other Lebak, Miangi, Kanzeraga, Akwe Hariba, party, Tarama Twisigi, Akwe. We do talk jare and then we meet the agit honga when we see Shangokjari. We do talk with a freely, a quick sangagani, a tuba matamda, matamatangi, shooting the Leva Miamga, a quick sanction minadana, a honagani, I say, in a deep big, a quick laying grabber, Masia, a quick wasakamagalina, a quick sanction jari, and a quick missalamo in a quick high basi, a quick sanction jagan, I have seen, or Zamiamda, a quina, Tamjari. Residents have resented a government's decision to construct a park in Pumlin, part of Kakching district, with an aim to preserve and safeguard endangered Sangai. Nong Mai Kong, Apun Bamai Rapai and other local clubs have urged the government to withdraw its decision, failing which they have warned of intense agitations. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club today, President of Nongai Kong, Awang Social Reformatics, Salam Joy termed the efforts of the Forest Department and Institute of Science to set up a second dwelling place for the endangered Sangai in Pumlin Path, despite the existence of 45 square per kilometer wide Kaibung Lamjao National Park at as unreasonable. He reiterated that Pumlin Pad is a very important source of a livelihood for the people of Yanglam constituency and that they will never accept setting up the park. Salam Joy urged to establish a tourist center instead of a dwelling place for Sangai. Pumlin Pad ki akoi bada Sangai lai baya ba atau ba pum amabak lai te. Arupa pum ni nesem pak kai bulam zao dedi Sangai na sabaya ba tau tau ren hai ba tau wasi Marang Kaina, however. Pumlin Patti, Low Sangamamogi, Zagabok, Hariba Sangai, Sabayaba Masinzaki, Sungo Ho Deva. A top little of Pumzita, Sangai Tamzilagi, Sangai Kanbanetti, Sangai Hana Nabagi, a Dugum Masak Amaneva. Eco tourism, Sakot number Semak Bahibus to the Aqua Aqua Begi Praja, Kudimanga, Yamna Corporation Pigani, Matamatam Gilangana, Pikis the Naurakanda, Lebak Praja Section Kudimakta, Yoro de Adugum Awaba Lando, Sindigano, Maramaduna Hariba Kongtangasi. Handok piu, handok taba taragadi. Akan akan bakhongjang kayama sanksi lakani. One day national workshop on road safety at the auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society (MSFDS) in Palace Compound today. The national workshop was jointly organized by the State Transport Department and the Institute of Drivers Training and Research Centre Manipur under the aegis of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and Association of State road transport undertaking. Speaking on the occasion, Director of Transport Department, IESC Arthur W. stated that the workshop aims to raise awareness on road safety and ways to prevent accidents. He maintained that more than 1.5 lakh people die from road accidents in the country annually and that more than 5 lakhs are rendered physically challenged. He said Based on written records, 139 people out of 605 accident cases have died between 2013 to 2017, injuring more than 1,170 individuals in the state. Arthur said negligence while driving such as not putting on helmets and seat belts while using mobile phones and driving under the influence of intoxicants are some major causes of accidents. He asserted that the transport education, PWD and police departments all play a vital role in curbing the menace of road accidents. Arthur urged for cooperation from all the departments in bringing down the rate of road accidents rampantly occurring in the state. We are also involved in 
compliance of the Honorable Supreme Court's direction. One is the road safety fund. I was discussing with uh, Madam Tamani Kanguli also. The model that we have gone for in our state is to transfer 50% of the revenue generated from penalties collected from traffic offenders. We have already drafted the Manipur Road Safety Fund scheme. Now this same uh, scheme is being examined by the Finance Department. We are hopeful that we will be able to place the matter before the Cabinet very soon for vetting. The lead agency would be something like a body that would be headed by the Transport uh, Director but it will have dedicated and experienced people from other related departments like Traffic Control Police, PWD and so on and so forth. Uh, in fact, the Police Department has been proactive and has even posted a senior DSP for the lead agency. We are uh, contemplating that other departments will also follow. Uh, a speeding central car slammed onto a cement loaded Tata four wheeler parked on Tidim Road in Changangai Makalaika around 9 30 last night, killing three of the four passengers. The lone survivor of the car was admitted at Raj Medicity and is said to be in a critical condition. The victims of the fatal accident are identified as T.H. Premji, 29 years, son of T.H. Ibomcha, K. Bobby, 23 years, son of K. Modhu from Changangai Uchekon, and S. Rakesh, 30 years, son of S. Birchandra from Mayang Imphal, Maipam Konjil. The lone survivor is identified as L. Santosh, 27 years, son of L. Sunil from Bishnupur, Ward No. 10. The four-wheeler is owned by one O. Jadumani from Oinam Kaitel and its driver is one L. Premjit. It may be mentioned that a four-wheeler bearing registration number MN05C1519 was parked there due to mechanical failure. SP Imphal West Jogesh Chandra Haubijam inspected the site this morning. A case was registered at Ramphal Police Station and investigations are underway. Board of Director, BOD member of Salai Holdings and Private Limited, Koijam Roshan has lamented and termed it unfortunate that Health Director, Dr. K. Rajo accused Smart Medicals of operating without any authorized license and tried to malign the reputation of the agency by imposing a ban. He maintained that Smart Medicals is the only agency in the state to provide services of Jan Oshadi under Chief Minister Gihakshel Gitingbang CMHT scheme. He said, the firm having more than 20 retail outlets and 10 MNC companies possesses a bona fide license signed by the Medical Directorate under Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940. Speaking to media persons, Roshan maintained that the firm has been supplying medicines from Jan Oshadi in accordance to the agreement signed between the government and the Bureau of Pharma Public Sector Undertakings of India BPPI. He lamented that the government's act will derail the entrepreneurs of the state and the service will be taken over by big firms from outside the state. Roshan stated that they will seek legal help if proper clarification is not provided at the earliest. Akwena ablo tau de hari basi moye IT portal da patient list di ablo tau ra. Makwe ni irabi hidak tu moye om dagi entry tau matung da akwe de pitha kadone ba. Moye ni irabi hidak tu na branding anta doctor tu ni iraga karamba IT portal da sang doino. Madu na akwe de kaya mana problem thon gaya da akwe ngasi media da siang nahe duksa gaya more than one point five pro pro amag makai ni hujubol te pending lagi se ngasi bokis single peni akwe pangdi bane ba. Moye interim Arrangement tu yang negara hai, madu di generic P dabra. Madu mac questionable, aku ini ekta ubudan a, ya dia hai jna, aku itu ubusunya te, mac aku ini authorised tu ubah mui na hai bapu tu nanti, aku ini thamzari z. Entrepreneur, aku ini hingzari bapu aku, praja mac yang kisah bapu thamzari bapu aku, tu tu oga, atau apa kerba wala, atau apa mac pandegi lapu, han edigi huna tau ubudan a, business salary bapu mac anje, solom tu ini tu holok kedua ibra. Adu kum bagi lok tu nabe ibra hai bapu mac. Aku ini cingkat apa gamde political game game mana umdah entrepreneur aku ini juga cingkat laga victimized tu bila aku yang ini de. Students Union of Kanglai Park Sok in a press release reiterates its demand for 10% reservation for students who cleared Bosom's HSLC compartmental examination 2018 in both the government and private schools. And on that note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on JC against the brutal killing of P. Mami from Ikaukaitel Bid to Storm Chief Minister's Bangalore. And keep watching Impact News. 
Welcome back to the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. JAC gains a brutal killing of P. Mimi from Ikau Kaithil tried to storm Chief Minister's bungalow today, demanding to award severe punishment to the culprits at the earliest. However, acting on a tip off, Imphal East Police prevented agitators from proceeding further at various places. Later, 15 JAC members were allowed to meet the Chief Minister to submit an memorandum. Speaking to media persons, convener of the JAC, Gage Dharmain, expressed disappointment that they could not meet the Chief Minister personally. He warned of intense agitations, including general strikes, if the government fails to punish the culprit. Honorable Chief Minister, when I say that I am very disappointed, I am very disappointed. I am very disappointed. I am very disappointed. Masalah lain lain esok ni unawa pangan dah bahaya bersih. JSC ke sana, amati mana pun perjabu nusi dah bawa usir thoi dah bawa malah ni koi JSC ke sana tinggal uji. Kali gumba hari bah JSC ni tali bah dimana sih ngasih pilihan memorandum tu kali gumba. Kali gumba positif action amat pilih dah bertaradi. Akui nama koi dah tanam memba deadline. Aduh kita menunggu hektar berita bertaradi JSC amati civil society organisation memang khusus naga. Kali gumba tanggung memang kupi tadi. 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 Kali gumba Akan mahu general strike, nanti kalau agitation, tongan tongan memang kelak kaya agitation sanksi, lekannya hebat sih ngasih. Pali bahasa kerajaan sih memang dah media kita through dah kangen jaring. Nupi Kunai Kanbalup and KKL Kanglai Park and Wang Kai Kunau Soibam Lekai in a press release strongly condemned the brutal killing of Pukri Hongbam Memi. The joint statement of the three organisations also demanded severe form of punishment for the accused. Poultry feeds manufactured by a Maharashtra-based company called Maharashtra Feed Private Limited was found adulterated with stones. One, Samjit Shabam Nandalal from Kwakatil Hauruk Chambi brought the poultry feeds from a shop called Star Poultry Feed in Kwakatil Bazaar. The horrified poultry farmer drew the attention of the relevant authority to look into the matter without further delay. Yen macam jaga si, aje nu panah ngarang dengan orang layu bani. Macam jaga si, dah nunggu tengah ayam ya. Macam jaga si, mas aku bani, apa pun nanti. Aduh, si yang lagi gak mena mieng jengbi. The horticulture department in Mora has stopped functioning efficiently due to lack of adequate attention from the government. The department's office situated at Mora Town Water No. 7 in Hainong Makong Lakeai is operating from a rental place since 2003. Moreover, lack of staff quarters has rendered inconveniences for its employees. When Impact News visited the office, only three of the total 13 staffs were found working in the office. Despite Horticulture Minister Shyam Kumar's frequent visit in Mora, the horticulture department Department's office remains in a deplorable condition. Director of the Directorate of Trade, Commerce and Industries Department in a press release informed that the draft of Manipur Bamboo Policy of August 6 has been updated on the department's website at www.dcimanipur.gov.in. Manipur Architects Forum will hold a three-day long material architecture and design expo made 2018 from September 14th. The expo will be held on the theme, Designing a Better Future at Manipur Trade and Expo Center in Lamboy Kong Nanko. Besides exhibiting and introducing industry-related products and services at panel discussions on industry trains and challenges, the expo will have some exciting events like painting competition and photography exhibition to introduce architecture to the people attending the event. Altogether, 56 stalls from the state and outside will be opened during the expo. A website www.nedrp.com of the Northeastern Council NEC funded project Northeast District Resources Plan NEDRP was launched today. DC Imphal East TH Chitra launched a website at Panchayat Bhavan DC Complex Imphal East. Speaking on the occasion, the Chitra asserted that all relevant information and documents of the district will be made available at the website. So, my Imphal is the portal that launched the website. We have a website www.netrp.gov.in. Online, we have a website to the Sangnaga. Any department, Sangnaga, Matuda, Akuin ada kerana apa? Distrik asyik. Mari lihat apa informasi 
sing a do search to the Kidoga, Madokina, Lina, Madam Zangana, access to Oma Madoribani. Evening daily. Pauni Khon daily celebrated its 28th Foundation Day. The event was held at Manipur Press Club in Major Kul. Sepung Sina, Samajida, Kanaga, Dabanga, the Irega, Samajigi. Adiki government sigi himai chum nami kita mukta ay adu kuma panda mama gal luina na yam thawa ay hakcham yau na sepongji matung desu amuhe na apa ba sepong oy nami kita mukta ay pa pirepto ay gi staff gal luina na yam na kanna hujuji kanna hone si. Imphal West District Chess Association (IW). DCA Uripokhui Dromlaika inaugurated its new office today. IWDC in a press release also mentioned that S. Kundikeshur alias Keba, R.K. Bhogin and I. Sanajauba were elected as President, Secretary and Treasurer respectively for the term 2018 to 2021. A new counter of Lamjing Bakap services was opened at Nagamapal Rims Road today. The counter was inaugurated by District Transport Officer of Imphal West, T.H. Dinachandra. Speaking on the occasion, Dinachandra loaded Lamjing Bakap services for starting transportation service in the state, which is which he asserted is a big relief for those who do not own vehicles, especially in times of medical emergencies. Director of Lamjingba Management Services Private Limited, Sanasam Jackie Mangang stated that the customer service counter was open to assist customers with the queries for enhanced experience. Then Amarum the high was habit system who high the potina. When you put the labor, Naharun, Gari labor, labor port maps, employment generate to Wungam Bugi. At all Bamatang Musu, we get over Pony, Hana, Aina, Montamjari. A quick service as you come at the Roga, Loga the Gay, Haina, Kangdaba, Musing, Hatari, Ep, Use to the Bab phone, smartphone, Pai, the Valley Targazu, a quicker Maitoroga, booking to Gani service, Logani, have you see? Ninth Sector Assam Rifles under the ages of IGAR South jointly organized an awareness camp on ways to prevent vector borne diseases caused by mosquitoes at the company operating base in Sawumbung. The camp was organized as a part of the initiative of State Malaria Department and Francois Xavier Backnot FXB India Suraksha to prevent diseases caused by mosquitoes across the nation. Mosquito nets of 17 households below poverty line were treated with mosquito repellents during the camp. Before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Court orders MLA cycle Yam Thong Haukip in judicial custody for 15 days in connection with possession of stolen arm form arms court of second Manipur rifles. And I recovers nine lost 9mm pistols of DG Pool Armory from the residents of United Cookie Liberation Front Chiefs also on the Hauke. North East India Development Party, NEITP exits. Core committee of 11 political parties formed to tackle four different issues of the state. And one day national workshop on road safety calls for joint efforts by transport education, PWD, and police departments in curbing road accidents.